Hello everyone and welcome to this machine learning playlist. Today we are covering an important topic. So whether you're someone who is absolute beginner or you have some experience with machine learning, this playlist has been designed in such a way that it will be easy to follow for everyone. Also packed with lots of values and information and it will be really helpful for you, especially if you're preparing for a machine learning based job role like data analyst or data scientist. So please subscribe to the channel and drop a like below to support our work. And without any further delay, let's get started with today's topic. So today we are covering this topic on lost function and cost function. We will try to understand them individually one by one and we'll see that why these topics are very important and works as a foundation within the field of machine learning. So assuming that you are someone who is absolutely new to the field of ML, I will try to keep the explanation as basic and simple as possible. So rather than starting from this difficult looking diagram, let's try to have a more interesting approach. So a lot of you will be familiar with this famous looking house over here. And here we have three respective columns that has actual values, predicted values and a loss column. Let's start first with the actual values, which is representing nothing but the difference from this house to school, hospital, and supermarket respectively which is 400 meters 600 meters and 200 meters in the second column what we are trying to do is we are trying to guess the difference from this house to these three respective places assuming that we are not familiar with the actual distance and let's say the distance that we try to predict is 500 meters 400 meters and 300 meters respectively and in the third column which is the loss column we are taking nothing but the absolute difference between the actual value and the predicted value which is 100 meters 200 meters and again 100 meters respectively for each of these places and of course since our guess is not as accurate with respect to the actual value and therefore we have these differences or the values within the loss column similarly within the field of machine learning if you have few observations like this and let's say that you are running any random machine learning algorithm in order to predict these actual values by using some features and by the way don't get confused with all these terms features or attributes because we will cover everything going ahead within this machine learning playlist for the time being just to have a simplified understanding assume that you have few observations few actual values that you are trying to predict or estimate and value which are very close to these actual values and let's say your machine learning algorithm is predicting these values against the actual values so the difference for each and every record will be termed as the loss and when you sum up all the records within this loss column that total value will be the loss for the prediction of your machine learning model so this value is called nothing but the cost now if you're someone who is absolutely fresher absolutely new to machine learning then naturally you will have few questions like what is a machine learning algorithm which algorithm to choose how do they work and don't worry we will answer all those questions within this machine learning series for the time being let's try to keep our focus only on this topic of loss or cost so hopefully over here with this example you are able to have a decent understanding on what is a loss and how do we calculate or come up with a cost and how these two are different from each other. Now let's move forward to a more realistic example. Over here, I have plotted the same figure three times over here, one, two, and three. And it is nothing but the observation of minutes studied per week against the marks obtained by a student. And by the way, this is not an actual data set. This is all made up by me. But it makes sense that the more a student will study, the higher he will be able to score in the exam. And let's say over here, you are trying to draw a straight line which passes through most of the data points within these observations. And that straight line will be called our prediction. So the goal is to draw the straight line in such a way that the difference between the straight line and all of these observations should be as less as possible. So let me start from here and choose this point as the bias of my straight line. And let me draw a straight line like this. Of course, my drawing is not that good. Neither the line is looking straight, but you get the idea. Now here, if we observe, we have done a really poor job in terms of prediction. Why? Because the difference between this straight line and all the observation is too much. And clearly we can understand 
that if you try to adjust the straight line this distance can be minimized to some extent so let's have another iteration on the second figure and let me choose the bias from the same point over here somewhere between 20 and 40 and let's try to draw a straight line this time like this okay so looks like this time we have done a lot better compared to the previous attempt this straight line is clearly crossing over this data point and it is very close to the other data points like here here and these ones as well however we can see that this prediction or the straight line is still too much far away from these data points and visibly it is also very clear that if we try to adjust the straight line a bit more then the loss or you can say the difference between these data points or the straight line can be minimized a bit more so let's do one thing let's take a final attempt and this time i will move my bias to this point i will start drawing the straight line from here and let me draw it from here to this point like this okay now we can see the straight line is crossing over more data points like here this 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 and these as well although it is not possible that your straight line will pass through all the observations or all the data points within this figure but definitely after a few iterations we were able to minimize these losses or the entire cost to some extent and now if someone asks me that how much a student is likely to score if he studies around 350 hours apologies 350 minutes in a week then my prediction will be falling somewhere over here and very close to the actual prediction actually now it was very simple to adjust the state line after a few iteration in such a way that we can optimize the loss because we were trying to solve this problem visually and we had only two variables minutes studied and marks obtained but this problem will become more difficult if you have more number of variables the dimension is high which means you have more factors like this that will predict the final output but our machine learning algorithms are very efficient to deal with such difficulties and by the way there is a very famous algorithm that helps us to adjust the straight line in such a way that the loss can be minimized and that algorithm is called gradient descent that we are not touching within this lecture because we are going to have a dedicated lecture on that topic but just to give you a basic idea that the adjustment of this slope is not done manually by anyone there is a dedicated algorithm for that okay so i hope that now you have got some understanding that how do we minimize or optimize the loss in order to predict a suitable outcome these are the few popular loss functions listed on your screen which are mostly used for different types of machine learning algorithms and as we cover those machine learning algorithms moving forward within this playlist we will explore all these loss functions one by one so i'm not giving a breakdown for these loss function within this particular video otherwise the length will exceed too much and now if we have a look on the figure that we saw initially at the beginning of this explanation this will make a lot more sense this time so all these yellow data points on the left hand side are the actual values and this blue straight line is our in general prediction that we can see is not performing that well over here because the distance is too much or you can say the loss is too much with respect to each and every data point however if we try to adjust this slope the predicted line in such a way that the loss can be minimized or you can say as a whole the cost can be minimized then it will help us to achieve a more suitable prediction all right so i hope that the idea on loss function and cost function is now pretty much clear to you we will explore this topic in more details once we start exploring few machine learning algorithms within this playlist so that is all for today thank you very much for your time